I am stunned right now, man. Stunned. Like, not sure what to think. Um, just got back from the gym, was on live, eating a bunch of durian, going off listing a bunch of popular raw vegans or vegans, and uh, Ravana's name came up, and then someone commented, like, like, yo, she's not even vegan anymore. She's eating uh, animal products. She's eating eggs and fish. And I was like, no way, that's a rumor. It can't be true. And then I check the YouTube, and it's true. She says, this is what's happening. And she talks about how she's eating eggs and fish, and she's been doing this for the past couple months, and how she's really, really sorry. And uh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for the animals, man. I'm really sorry for the hate that she's about to get. Like a lot of hate from a lot of people. Um, I've known Ravana since way, way back, since we had Vine, man. I met her on Vine uh, online, and then met her at Woodstock Fruit Festival. It was cool, we chilled, we had an awesome time. Uh, we, I spent Christmas at her house in California. She was paid to come be an influencer at the Canada Fruit Fest last year. She was a presenter, we bought her flights, we paid her speaking fee, we wanted her to represent the Canada Fruit Fest. And now I see her eating animal products. And I'm like, yo, um, damn, like you must have been desperate, you know, to go back to eating animals. Uh, and I understand she didn't go vegan in the first place for the animals. Ravana, Yovana went back, or Yovana became vegan in the first place for her health. A lot of people out there, myself included, we went vegan for the animals. Number one reason, the animals. And I think we're gonna stay vegan forever because of the animals. So, like that's something to understand. Like how you enter is maybe how you wanna exit as well. So she entered for her health, she wanted to be super healthy, so she became vegan, and now she wasn't feeling so healthy, so she backed out. But like, I entered veganism for the animals. So my health is now something I figure out within this realm of being vegan. So if my health is not doing optimal, uh, if my health is not as optimal as I want it to be, I'm gonna look in other areas other than my diet. My diet, I feel, is already the world's healthiest diet. Like, I'm, I'm vegan, man. I'm, I'm, I'm eating raw fruits and vegetables all the time, every day. My diet is optimized, I think. If I'm not feeling healthy, I'm not gonna go eat an, a dead animal. I'm not gonna eat a dead animal product either. I do not believe dead animals belong in our body. I believe dead animals belong out rotting, in the woods, I believe animals deserve to live as long as they want to live. Uh, I don't believe that animals belong in my body. And so if, if I was feeling less than optimal health-wise, what I would do is I would aim to get more sleep. I'd aim, I'd aim to hang around different people. I'd aim to get more breath work and uh, more fresh air. I'd aim to take some supplements perhaps. I'd aim to meditate a lot more. I'd aim to get crystal clear on, on my vision and my goals in life. I'd aim to express myself more creatively. I'd aim to practice more forgiveness, practice more gratitude. I would do anything. I, I'd, I'd travel the freaking world to find out what was going on with my health. But I highly doubt I would ever go back to eating a, 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 an animal. Like, I, I love animals. That's the reason I went vegan. I couldn't stand the idea or the sight of them being hurt. And uh, I don't think Giovanna wants animals to be hurt, but like I said, she entered veganism for the health reasons. I think we can exit by the same door we entered in. So, yeah, we gotta understand that Yovana, she's, she's a big influencer. It's the reason why I brought her to Canada Fruit Fest. A big influencer. She's helped more people go vegan than almost anyone else you know. You know, there's Freely, there's Fully Rock Christina, and there's like Ravana, Yovana. And it's like, Freely and Fully or Christina, they help so many people become vegan. Yovana, same thing, helped so many people become vegan. The whole Spanish community, the whole Spanish vegan community looked up to Yovana. So Yovana's already done a lot of work helping people become vegan. She's probably done more work in the vegan community than I maybe ever will. But it's really sad now that because she's eating animal products and she has so many eyes on her, millions of eyes on her, that it's a numbers game at least a few thousand people who are now watching her find out she's going back to eating animals, they're gonna to wanna to go back to eating animals as well. And they're going to. Because like it's just a numbers game. When that many people are looking at you for advice, for inspiration, and you go back to eating animals, they're gonna do it too. So that's what's sad right now, but we need, as, as vegans, we need to realize, as a vegan, you need to realize this right now. You need to realize that you can't give your power up as a vegan, you can't give up what you know and what you believe to someone else. You can't be like, I believe in this so much. This is, this is the truth. Animals are awesome. Animals deserve to live. 
I freaking love animals. You can't give that up and be like, oh, I no longer believe in animals now because that person doesn't. It's like, you gotta, you gotta stand up for what you believe in, man. You gotta stand up for what you believe in. If a leader breaks down and can't handle all the attention or can't handle the, 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 the health issues that she's dealing with, and she breaks down or she reverses, she falls off the wagon, she falls off the deep end, whatever you wanna say, she goes back to eating animals. You can't give your power up as a vegan. You can't give your power up as someone who, who believes in what you believe in to someone else and be like, oh, she fell off, therefore, fuck it, I'm falling off too. Like, what kind of life is that? What kind of example are you setting for all your friends, all your family members? You know, it's like, if your leader, if the person who influenced you to become vegan is now no longer vegan, find a new leader, or better yet, lead from where you are. Lead from where you are. Take the torch, man. Be the leader. You know, follow up. Ravana's cleared the path. Ravana has proven what's possible just by promoting fruits and vegetables. Look at her freaking Instagram, man. It's pictures of her and fruits and vegetables. And she's got 1.3 million followers by making of this video. She maybe have a little less after this stint. Uh, maybe she even have more. Maybe a bunch of paleo people come on board and start following her. I don't know. But right now she's got 1.3 million. And the, the way she got there, I met her when she had like less than 100K. Met her when she had like a few hundred, uh, a few, few thousand people on Instagram. Now she's 1.3 mil. How? Consistently posting about fruits and vegetables. She's proven that there is a market for it. She's proven that people do care about veganism. And yet, she slipped up. Doesn't mean there's no more veganism. It means that she slipped up. Or not slipped up, but it means she went back to eating animals. Doesn't mean you need to. You can and you might because you may be following her, but you don't need to. There are so many other awesome vegan influencers out there. But like I said, you can either find a new leader or you can lead from where you are. Learn, uh, lead, and, and, and teach people about everything you've already learned as a vegan. I'm sure you've already learned so much as a vegan, man. You've learned so much as a vegan. You've already overcome so many health issues as a vegan. You can start teaching other people about those things right now. You don't need someone else to be leading you your whole life. If she's influenced you in some way, awesome. She's influenced you up until this point. She doesn't need to continue to influence you anymore. Right? Unless you want her to. But I feel badly for her. I really hope that uh, she doesn't read all the nasty comments that are being sent towards her. She's going to get a ton of them, man. A ton of them. She's probably going to get death threats. Honestly. She's big enough for that. She's probably going to get some death threats. She's probably going to get just like hate for months. For the rest of her life. She's going to get hate for the rest of her life from this. Even if, she, even if she says, okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go back to being vegan, she'll still get hate for the rest of her life from this. She's that big. Like, you, people don't understand what 1.3 million followers on Instagram does to you. People don't understand what hundreds of thousands of views on every single YouTube video you put up does to you. Like, I am small fish, man. Most of my videos get between like 500 to like maybe 2,500 views. And people still come up to me at festivals and they're like, oh, wow. Or they still see me on the street and they're like, oh wow, like I know you from YouTube. Ravana, I mean, I was hanging out with Elise in, uh, in New York after Woodstock, Elise Raw Lyman. And uh, she was getting noticed like everywhere, everywhere. Like there aren't that many big popular vegans. If you're a big popular vegan, like Ravana is, Ravana's like one of the top three, top five most popular vegans, you're getting noticed every single day, everywhere you are. It's like being Jim Carrey, it's like being Jay-Z, it's like being Beyonce. Like, she's big, man, big time. And like, all that attention on you as a vegan, like there's so much pressure on her to maintain being a vegan. That's why she's been eating animal products for two months now, but she hasn't said it until now. Cause it's like, do people see her as this, as this vegan. And now she finally has to pop the bubble and be like, yo, I'm not actually vegan. And now she's gonna continue walking in the street, continue driving. Now she may get freaking honked at, she may get freaking threats in person. Like, she can't like go anywhere public now without getting like, glared at now so like I feel really really bad about that that really sucks she's a dope girl she's really cool to hang out with if, you, if you've ever met her you'll know she's chill she's really nice she's really funny her laugh is hilarious her whole family's dope her whole family's really really cool so if you've never met her and you've only seen her on YouTube you may be like oh she's she's this and she's that she's this and that she's like you don't know her man you never met her same with people like hating on anyone on YouTube like people hate on me all the time my friends that hang out with me they're like Ted I don't know why some people hate on you because they've never hung out with me before. Homie Tim Sheaf, man. People like hate on him all the time. It's like, yo, go hang out with Tim for a day, man. You'll love him. 
Like, the people are hating us. Like, the people who've never hung out with the people in person. And there's like, there's very rarely is like hate shown in, in person, in public. It's all behind like keyboards from people who don't really post too much um, or at all. But go ahead and, um, you know, say what you will about her. You're going to comment on her videos regardless. You're going to thumb up. You're going to thumb down regardless. You're going to subscribe. You're going to unsubscribe regardless. But just know that she's a human being. She, she has emotions. She, she's going to feel stuff if she reads certain comments. And I, I'm just hoping that she doesn't read into the comments too much. Uh, of course, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm sad that because she has such a big following, so many thousands of people are probably going to go back to eating animals now. I keep bringing this duck up because it's just the only duck I have, the only animal representation I have here. But I freaking love animals, man. And it's like the only thing stopping me from going back to eating animals is the fact that, like, I've never told this story before. I can tell a quick story here. I've got major empathy for the pain animals feel. Major empathy. And that's because as a kid, I grew up with dogs. I'm a dog lover. Dogs are like my number one animal. Grew up with this dog, and uh, many dogs, and not many, we have four. And this one dog, golden retriever, got big ears. I had this Lego thing, and it was like a crank, like one of those press cranks that you like can tighten. And it goes tight, 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 tighter, tighter, tighter. I forget what they're called. Anyways, I had it on the dog's ear, and it was just like like an earring, you know. And I thought it was cute. The dog's like walking around. It's like the, the press thing is like on his ear, and it's like. Oof hanging there, dangling, and I kept tightening and tightening and tightening it, and then I tightened it too much one time, I, like, I like went way too far, and I just pinched the shit out of the dog's ear, and the dog just immediately started like crying like crazy, like, like just going crazy, like running around just crying like crazy, like this thing is pinching out the ear, but like max fucking tightness, and I fucked up as a kid, I didn't know what to do, I was too scared to like touch it, and I just like, I started bawling, I started crying. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, what do I do, what do I do? I felt so fucking bad. And my sister came, or my mom came, I forget, or my dad came, I don't know. Took the Lego thing off, and I just, like, was traumatized. Traumatized. I felt the dog's pain. I felt my dog's pain. And then I see slaughterhouse footage of, of his animals, and I'm like, dude, when I, was, when I was 18, I saw these slaughterhouse footage, and I was like, I'm done. No, no, no more animals. I'm done. That's fucked. Got super pissed off. I got super angry, super emotional seeing that slaughterhouse footage. And now to this day, every time I think about eating animal products, I remember how I felt when I saw that slaughterhouse footage. I remember how I felt when I pinched my dog's ear too tightly. You know? And I'm like, there's no effing way I'd ever go back to eating animals, man. No way. I, like I said, my diet is too awesome right now. My diet's been awesome for 10 years. I've been vegan for nearly a decade. If my health goes awry, it's probably because... I'm not sleeping enough, I'm not working out enough, I'm not getting enough enough fresh, fresh air, I'm not expressing enough gratitude or forgiveness, I'm not taking in the right supplements, or something else happened. Maybe you got a freaking infection or got a virus or something, I don't know. Maybe you gotta go to the doctor, maybe you gotta go to the hospital or whatever, but I'm not gonna go back to eating a dead animal. I'm not gonna go back to eating dead animal products either. So, like I said, man, just don't give your power up. Don't feel like veganism is failing or anything just because one person Ravana, Yovana, goes back to eating animal products. You as a vegan, you have all the power, you have all the knowledge, you have all the, the strength and courage that you need to go on and be the light for other people. Right? Look at what Ravana has done, 1.3 million followers, man, just by being the light for others. Okay, it's taken her many years now to, to get to the point where she's at now, for sure, but you know, just know that if you can help at least one person become vegan, you've done a great job. If, if every vegan on the planet helps with just one other person become vegan, veganism doubles overnight. All right? So peace out, much love. Hope to see you all at the Canada Fruit Festival this August 9th to the 12th. Check the link in the description if you're interested in that. It's going to be the biggest vegan festival in Canada this summer. Biggest four-day vegan festival in Canada this summer. Hope to see you there. Peace out, much love. Adios. I don't think ducks make that sound as a cat. Ducks are like, quack, 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 quack.